Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here on yet another glorious bagel Sunday. Tis only 54 degrees out. It's sunny, though. It's only supposed to go up into maybe the low to mid 60s. So, again, fall is here. I, I looked, I don't think it goes out of the 60s for as far as the forecast goes out. So, definitely fall time. Got pants on. Boo. I might just stick around in the house and, and get cracking on the day job stuff because I have a lot that I need to do, given that I'm basically gonna be doing two jobs at the same time. Got a lot of shit to do. It's a lot of upfront work. If I do all this stuff today upfront, then I'm done. I don't ever have to do it again. Probably a good idea for me to do that. But for now, let's get bagels. Bagels gotten. Let's go eat. Okay, kids, I'm pretty much just going to talk about one thing. So here we have my Fujifilm X-T4. And this is the newest in my stable. And I bought this with a couple reasons in mind. I love doing walkabouts, what I call walkabouts, which is basically street photography, shit like that. Just grabbing your camera and going. Do you see something to take a picture of? You take a picture of it. That is something that I have enjoyed doing since I started doing photography. So for the past 15 years, I have rather enjoyed taking pictures of whatever, whenever I want, which is why I always have a camera with me. Don't get me wrong. You know, I'm a Sony fanboy. I love all my Sony stuff. And I have an A7R4, the A7 IV, this ZV E10, and now this Fujifilm X-T4. Here's where we're going. I have been buying a shit ton of gear especially this last year, but pretty much for the past three years. I've been buying stuff, selling it, buying other stuff, selling it, throwing it in the magical drawers, giving it to people, whatever, to try to get to a point where I was happy with what I had that gave me the excitement of grabbing that camera and going out and doing what I wanna do. I have experienced that, I'm gonna say once, and that would be the A7R4. The A7R4 is like my dream camera, and it's my dream camera for a reason other than why I got it. Because when I originally got it, I got it to do portraiture, to, to do photo shoots with models. What it ended up being was my godsend camera for birding, which turned out to be a huge passion of mine, and it continues to be. So here's the thing, that A7R4 isn't going anywhere. Even if the A7R5 is some kind of spectacular camera, it doesn't matter because that camera is spectacular and I don't need to change it because I can put my 200 to 600 lens on there. Well, it's always on there. And I can go out and I can bird all day long and then some and get banger shots and enjoy myself. So I don't see any reason to upgrade. Having this A7 IV with the BERT eye autofocus and an updated autofocus system and an updated menu system, it doesn't make a difference because it didn't get me any more bangers than I was getting anyways with the A7 R4. So that's staying. Now, this A7 IV, I've gone back and forth on this thing. I like it and I bought a second one, which I sold like, like a month and a half later to Josh. It is a good camera, but it has a lot of drawbacks for me. Um, shit battery life, it, it gone like that. Nothing like any other camera that I've had other than those shitty little FP, FW50 batteries like in the ZV-E10, those things are like non-existent. They're worthless. So the battery life ain't that great. It does get really hot and I continue to push the limits of it, especially when I'm shooting in the Forerunner and it's sitting on the dashboard getting cooked by the sun. Hasn't been the perfect camera, but it has been a good camera that I have enjoyed, but I'm finding that I'm not gonna grab it to go out and shoot like I wanna shoot with my walkabouts. It just, I don't know, it's, it just doesn't really excite me. I grab it because right now it's set up for my filming and that's what I do with it. This ZV-E10 was close because it's so small and with the 10 to 50 lens on it or that 11 millimeter lens on it, it was like such a tiny little setup and I had a great time going out and shooting with it in theory, except the battery life sucks, the rolling shutter sucks, the focus breathing really sucks and all that kind of, it, it's just like, ugh. So sitting here, this camera in my studio right here, I can deal with its shortcomings, but it seems kind of silly to hold onto a camera just so that I can do a second angle if I want to 
and I really have to work to get it to match close enough to the footage from this. So eliminate these two cameras now because I ordered, pre-ordered the Sony FX30. I think that Sony FX30, I'm hoping and judging by everything that everybody said about it, it will be perfect for me because it'll be a smaller setup. I can use this 10 to 20 lens. I can use the 11 millimeter lens. I could even use my full frame lenses if I wanted to, but I'll have a nice small setup strictly for filming. And that's what I always wanted, a camera to shoot pictures with, still pictures, and a camera to shoot video with. That being said, I decided, and this was not like I just one day decided I was gonna go out and buy a Fuji camera. I'd been looking at, at cameras that were a little bit more old school for a long time now. And I was looking at Leicas, and I was looking at Fujis. The Leica, okay, yeah, they're really expensive. That's not too daunting, because you know me, I'll go out and spend whatever, but they didn't do it for me like the Fuji did. Now, I bought my wife a Fuji, what is it, an X, X-T20, and she took that to Italy with her, and she loves it. I mean, it's a perfect, cute little camera. It's got all the little dials. She can set everything she wants. It's exactly how she likes to shoot. It's small, light, and it's, it's perfect for her. So I've always been intrigued by it because of the fact that you can go through and, and change each little dial to dial things in literally how you want them. But at the time I was more of a, like, I've got this gigantic Sony and I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna shoot a thousand pictures and all that kind of stuff, you know, along those lines. And then I started to really kind of buy into this whole thing of, of you know what, instead of going out and just taking a thousand pictures, you know, when I'm out doing birding and all that kind of stuff and occasionally I stop and take a picture of something else, I really wanna like take my time I want to get a, like the picture that that when I look up and I see the scene, when I see the picture, I want to be able to capture it and dial it into the way I want to. Now, the biggest reason why I got this is because of the recipes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, these Fuji cameras give you the ability to change all these settings and save them as a recipe. They're, they call them recipes. There's like a fanatical following of people that like try all these different recipes, create their own recipes. And there's a site called, I think it's called Fuji Weekly, where he's got hundreds of them listed and people send them to him all the time. And he just tries to list them out and shows you what it's like. The recipes are to give you that old school film look and everybody puts their little slant on them and everything. Well, I started looking at those recipes before I even bought the camera. And it's what sent me over the edge and said, that's it, I'm getting these. This is exactly what I've been looking for. So. I ordered the X-T4 and the 23 millimeter f.2 lens from MPB. Before that, I had found this recipe called Nomadic Mood. Come on, that's like exactly what I'm looking for. So any picture that you see that I post with this camera that is in color, it is with that Nomadic Mood recipe. Then there's a black and white recipe that I have called The Dude. So some photographer went out there and he had been following Jeff Bridges. The dude, the big Lebowski. Jeff Bridges has over years of every film that he's been in of, he has this old camera and I can't remember what it's called. And he shoots all these behind the scenes pictures throughout the entire filmmaking process. And at the end of the movie, he makes these little photo books for like some of the co-stars or the people in the crew and all that kind of stuff. And he's really a pretty fantastic photographer. And I was like, that is what I want. And this guy created the dude recipe that tries to emulate that black and white style that Jeff Bridges shoots in. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, totally gonna be all over that. So I have this camera set up with those two recipes. So if you see color, it's nomadic mood. And if you see black and white, it's the dude. And I have just been having the time of my life going out and shooting. This camera has reignited my passion for still photography of grabbing this because it's nice and tiny, and just going out and shooting whatever I want. So when I get back on the road for the new job, at that time, I'll have the Sony FX30, which will be my filming camera, and I'll do all my filming with it, all my vlogs, any other shit that I do, which is pretty much just the vlogs, and then I will use this Fuji X-T4 for my still camera, and they'll go with me everywhere. Now, that being said, haven't really decided what I'm gonna do yet, but I think what it's getting down to is that I'm gonna sell these two cameras. I'm gonna sell the Sony uh, a7 IV because I don't need it, because I bought it 
to do filming with and and also to do still pictures with because i didn't want to keep taking apart my birding setup but now that i had this fuji i'm not going to take this camera out and if i have the fx30 to film i'm not going to take this camera out there's no point in me having this amazing camera if i'm not going to use it so i think it's going to go the zve 10 i tried to make that my film still picture camera and even used it as my vlogging camera but with the rolling shutter and the focus breathing alone like they're so awful that even buying that gimbal like it doesn't help with with the stabilization and everything it's just it's not for me that goes too because there's no point in having this i don't need to have a second angle uh in my studio i just did it for shits and giggles because i had the camera sitting here i don't know I'm mulling this all over, and I know that there are people that are going to watch it. You're out of your mind. Don't sell that stuff. You want to keep it. But I know how I am. And I know that if I have it in my head that I'm going to use this camera as my still camera, which I am going to use this, I have been using it, then I'm not going to touch these cameras for still photography. If I have the FX30 and I'm using that as my film camera, I'm not going to use these cameras for filming. I'm not getting rid of the a7r4 though because that thing is my baby and it's a beast and i will shoot birds with it all day long but that's really all i wanted to talk about i just wanted to introduce the xt4 and just sort of talk about what has changed for me and what i'm thinking about doing but all right that's it i've blathered on long enough i just sort of wanted to touch bases and let you know what's going on and where my head is so that's all you get for today if you have any comments questions or suggestions leave them down below as always thanks for joining me be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up.